And so I'd like to say a few words to our grandparents and those who are elderly. Indeed, today's celebration reminds us of our responsibility and more than just responsibility, but truly to care and to love our grandparents and those who are elderly. As a priest, I must say that I'm always very inspired, very edified. When I see children looking after their elderly, of course, some of our grandparents and elderly, they are no longer stable. Some are demented, some are sickly, some are weak. And the care that we are called to give to them, of course, demands sacrifices. But it's not just sacrifices. The care we give to them must be given out of love. Otherwise, it becomes a real burden. So, my dear brothers and sisters, in case we are impatient with them because they cannot remember many things, I invite you to remember all the great things and good things they have done for us when they were young. And some grandparents are still very active offering their services to the family. So let us pray for them and let us journey with them until they return to the Lord. So I ask you, my dear brothers and sisters, to extend your hands if you are, have your elderly around you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our grandparents, for all our elderly. We thank you, Lord, for giving them as gifts to us. When we were young, they looked after us, they cared for us, they taught us about you, and most of all, because of them, we have received our faith. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for them. Run us, Lord Jesus, always this gift of gratitude for all our elderly, remembering all the great things and good things they have done for us. Lord Jesus, we ask for your divine assistance and protection for those elderly, that they will continue to live their life to the fullest in whatever situation they are in. And that they will, in their elderly years, spend more time contemplating on your love, grow closer to you, so that they, at the end of their pilgrimage, will see you face to face. Lord Jesus, run us a gift of love so that we can truly journey with them. Help us to find strength to give them that tenderly loved which they deserved, to encourage them and most of all to be patient with them so that they can continue to receive your love. So Lord Jesus, Bless all our elderly, bless all our grandparents, and bless all caregivers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we thank you all, grandparents and elderly, and we want you to know the church has not forgotten you and that we are with you in your journey. Amen.